Hello, everyone. It's Phil Jones, and joining me is Jaime from Elite Screens. And today we're going to be talking about unique projection solutions that you can only do with a projector and a screen. So, Jaime, how are you? I'm good, Phil. Thank you very much. How about yourself? Excellent. So before we get started, we'd like to thank our sponsors, AV Pro and Meridio, for helping us put on this year's Spring Projection Summit, where we talk about all things dealing with projectors, whether it's projectors, projection screens, or all types of accessories you need to build a great projection system. But today, we're going to be talking about cool elite screens that can be utilized in a wide range of applications. So I love bringing Jaime in because he always has lots of different cool solutions. In fact, in my lab here, I actually have a couple of elite screens, an ultra short throw as well as a um, long throw screen. But today we're going to be talking about some kind of new things. And one of those is actually outdoor theater. So Jaime, can you talk a little bit about the growth of outdoor theater? Is that becoming really popular with your type of audience? Absolutely, Phil. Uh, the trend now is outdoor theater or outdoor entertainment. There's been a demand for all different types of screens. We have our portable foldable, foldable mm -hmm. and we have our electrics, and we have our manuals, and mm -hmm. we just have a good variety of outdoor screen solutions for all types of environments. Um, people ask me what's a great outdoor screen. I have been recommending a lot of their yard master pieces, the more manual ones where you would set up your 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 frame and then you would either you would snap the the screen to the frame. I like those way better than blow ups because they stay taut and they I like how quickly they break down and they go up. And you guys make those in a huge amount of sizes, but there are people out there that want to leave their screen up permanently. They're looking for a true outdoor all weather solution. And that's what we're going to be talking about today is new to their lineup is a couple of outdoor rated screens that, that either are manual or motorized. So, so what's the advantage of having a, a screen that motorizes up and down versus the one you break down? And so with the foldables, yeah, those are great for portable solutions. You can take them anywhere. But um, if you need something more permanent, we do have solutions such as this brand new Yarmaster manual tension that mm -hmm. is also IP65 rated. Mm -hmm. So that's going to protect it from rain hitting it from any angle. Of course, the screen material needs to be enclosed. I have a couple of yard masters, myself and Cam and a few of us. We have 53s and 75s and 95s, and I think I have a 100 inch, 120 inch. Great screens, but every time we have a backyard party, we got to set it up. And then at the end of the party, we have to break it down. And the next time, and then two days later, they want the kids come over again and we have to set it up. And then the next time, as soon as we get done, we have to break it down. And, and a lot of times you don't want to do that. You go, okay, I know that it's summertime is here and, and I want to watch either the basketball finals or, or I want to watch baseball at night. And I know I'm going to be utilizing the screen multiple times and being able to have a screen that I can just um, manually or, or motorize it up into a water resistant case and then uh, take my projector in the house. And then when I get done, bring the projector back outside and motorize the screen back down, makes it far more usable as a consumer. Now, the other thing about this is I challenge you to find a flat panel <laughs> that you would leave outside that are at these types of sizes. Because what, what are the sizes that are available on something like the manual piece that we have here? Uh, we go from 115 to 125 inch in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Yeah. Yeah. So if you think about it, flat panels are getting less expensive for bigger sizes. But still, you're talking about an 85 inch flat panel, which is still several thousand dollars. There are some weather resistant 85 inch outdoor screens, but they're incredibly expensive compared to this. And they're going to block the view. If you look at this image right here, the image is only there when I want it to be there. And when I'm done, I can motorize this guy up and now I have a view of my backyard. So I only have to deal with the picture when I want the picture. So, so what type of material is in the manual piece? 
So this particular series uh, utilizes our Cinewhite 1.1 gain, and that is a flexible stretch material, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, <clears throat> designed to be used in a tension format. And the tension format here is something that we've uh, been requested by, by our customers because of the ever-growing just uh, demand for uh, smaller ultra short throw and short throw projectors that can be used with these surfaces without any uh, of the non-tension materials that can have minor waves where you can still see the distortion, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that is a bright 1.1 gain uh, ISF certified flexible material. Yes, um, the case is the water, is the weather resistant part. You have to motorize it in. It's definitely weather resistant. You can't throw it in the pool, people, but <laughs> it is, but in most environments, you'll be able to leave it outside or um, if it's in a really, really harsh environment, you live in Montana and there's 12 feet of snow, um, it, um, you, it's easier just to lift this off of its mount and take it into the house for the winter, just like you winterize your, your pool and your sprinkler system. You can do this to make sure that it lasts for a long time. So, so I think this piece is great. Is there any idea of what the retail price is going to be for the manual piece? Yeah, the manual fill starts at a retail price of $799. Okay, $799. So moving up from this piece, um, I'm lazy. I like to, I don't want to pull even manually do it. So now you have ones, like you mentioned, that are wireless and motorized. So, so can you talk a little bit more about this piece here? Yes, yeah, so actually this is a very exciting brand new piece that we've introduced. Uh, the Yard Master Wireless, also out, outdoor rated IPX3. And this particular screen uses a built-in Lion battery with no need to actually plug it into a power outlet. You just charge it and you're good to go for about 200 cycles. Just grab your RF remote control, no mm -hmm. need for line of sight, and you drop down your screen. I will tell you that I'm actually getting ready to review this particular screen. Um, Jaime was nice enough to send it to me, and I was giddy to see that it was battery powered because the, the, the two challenges, one of the biggest challenges about using an outdoor screen is, where am I going to get the power? <laughs> you know? So, yeah. so um, being able to just mount this, I can just charge it every once in a while. Yeah, it comes with a charger. You just uh, plug it in to the uh, left hand side of the outlet there. And yeah, just get a cable and just charge it up and then you're good to go. Yeah, and 200 cycles up and down for many people, that's, that's a couple of months. So um, summertime. So you could charge it up and probably use it um, every night during the summer before you would have to charge it again, which is which is cool. So this is this a matte white material as well? Yes, it is. So this is a max white 1.1 gain material. And like I mentioned, this one, this particular one is not tensioned. So it's only compatible with your standard throw, long throw projectors. Like I said, I'm excited about this piece. This piece is pretty awesome. Um, I'm hoping you guys are going to also introduce a battery powered indoor <laughs> because, <laughs> because that's kind of nice too, because um, there's some situations where I can totally see having a battery powered um, indoor solution would be great. So at $12.99, this is actually for 125 inch battery powered motorized screen. Dude, this thing should be an absolute winner. You add this with a projector with a built in sound system high brightness and smart features built in. And you basically have a great outdoor television that can be fired up in two minutes. Watch Netflix, baseball games and everything else. And when you get done, you can motorize it up and just leave it out there for the entire summer, which is awesome. By the way, we um, the Yarmaster Wireless is available in a non-tension and a tension version. So this is the Yarmaster Tap Tension, and as I mentioned, uh, it is available in a non-tension and a tension version, both in 125 inches, and the same features uh, to the to the uh, product. Uh, mm -hmm. they, you both have an RF remote control. You have your uh, buttons uh, control, manual control buttons on the side, and your power. Uh, outlet there, your power plug, mm -hmm. and then it's also IPX3 rated, compatible with standard short and ultra short throw projectors. I'm a big fan of just using tap tension all the time, whether you're an ultra short throw person or a a long throw person, because the odds of you having any type of 
um, geometric distortion kind of goes down when you apply tab tension. So 300 bucks more, um, I think it's absolutely worthwhile. And the battery life is the same. On top of this screen and outdoor applications, um, there are some benefits of utilizing projection and projection screens for other applications. For example, I need a gigantic screen that I need to set up really quickly. And we're not talking 85 inches. I always say, why measure your TV in inches when you can measure it in feet? So what if I want a 12 foot screen that I can set up in a, um, a, a venue, a classroom, a church environment, or, or some application like that? I need it to be set up in, in, in seconds. That is where this new quick stand comes in. So can you talk a little bit about the quick stand um, solution that you guys are offering? Yes, this is a brand new also, a brand new screen that we've introduced, uh, which is a tension all-in-one case design with our Cinegray 5D ambient light rejecting material. Yes, we do have a uh, power version, but a lot of our customers uh, that are in the rental and staging industry want something quicker that's not going to be so so permanent. Mm -hmm. They just need a rugged, heavy-duty case that they can travel with mm -hmm. and utilize it in bright environments. And so this particular piece is what customers have been asking us for for us to 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 bring to the mm -hmm. market. Like you mentioned, a very quick pull-up solution. Within five seconds, you're done. You just unlatch it, pull up the screen all the way to, to the top or wherever you need it to, to be, and you're good to go. Yeah. When it, when it comes to speed and portability, um, nothing matches a, um, an uprising screen. Like I've, I've done trade shows where, where you know, like I said, if, by, if you set up the, fr by the time you set up the frame and, and put and tension a um, 145 inch screen, you can do it pretty quickly, but you're still talking, even if you know what you're doing, uh, a half an hour. You know, yeah. the, mm -hmm. the next thing is, um, but um, I've seen people use motorized or, or manual tension pull down screens. Um, those you don't have to tension, but you still got to build a frame to hold it, you know, and that takes time. Nothing is quicker than rolling in a case, opening the case and pulling a screen up, you know, and we actually reviewed the 145, I think it's a 145 inch version of this as a powered screen, um, utilizing it with a Sony GTZ 380. And with this material and that projector, the image was mesmerizing. Yeah. But the motorizing, but motorizing it also adds weight and cost um, to, to the solution. And so having a manual solution means you get a lot of those benefits in a lighter, more accessible, less expensive package, but the quality is still good. So this piece is, I think, is a great, great solution. And this one's only $1,749. And the material is basically uh, ultra high quality, correct? Talk a little bit about your Cinegray 5D material. Yeah, correct. Yeah, this particular unit, we do have other units as well that use our standard matte white, and those are available in other sizes, and you can see those uh, on our website. But this particular one uses our Cinegray 5D, which is an ambient light rejecting material, mm -hmm. and it has a 1.5 gain, <clears throat> and uh, it's uh, compatible only for uh, standard throw projectors. So yes, mm -hmm. if you need something in a bright room environment, uh, and you don't want to use a matte white material because it'll wash out your image. You want to retain contrast and color saturation. You want to go ahead and use this particular unit with this ambient light rejecting material here, our Cinegray 5D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're actually doing a review right now on a couple of um, five to 7,000 lumen um, uh, um, DLP projectors. And nice. you like we're doing a really, really cool LG right now that's 7,000 lumen 4K. And 7,000 lumens on a 145 inch screen with this type of material means you can utilize it in a lot of different applications um, as a, and it will, then the picture will be absolutely stunning. So the model is the quick stand. Um, five second uh, tension. <laughs> five second tension. You got to put the benefit statement in it. It's five seconds to pull this up, and that is actually exactly. an, an important thing. Um, the other thing that is growing that we just did an article on 
was um, uh, seems uh, sports simulation. And a lot of times uh, that sports simulation, a lot of times people just think golf, but I've been to places where you can throw a football at the screen. So it's football, it's, it's soccer, it's golf. So simulation screens are becoming more and more popular. So can you talk a little bit about the golf slim, the golf sim DIY, DIY screens that you had? That you guys <clears throat> yes, of course. This is a brand new uh, screen material that we announced, uh, which is our Impact White 360. And that is an impact uh, screen material. And yeah, you're right. This isn't just for golf. It's a multi-sport uh, mm -hmm. simulation material. So yes, you could, uh, you know, practice um, um, various uh, sports on it, and it will hold up to the uh, the impact of those uh, tools uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is a 1.0 gain uh, material with a wide full with a 180 degree wide viewing angle, which mm -hmm does not diminish, uh, you know, you can see it from any angle and it won't, uh, it won't have a half angle effect. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it does resist golf impact and withstands ball speeds up to 200 miles per hour, allows a clear and sharp presentation without loss of image fidelity. And that's something that, like you mentioned, hybrid, we wanna focus, first of all, on picture quality. That's very important to us because mm -hmm. we are a screen manufacturer, projecting screen manufacturer. And of course, we designed this around making sure that the image fidelity is, re is retained as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And um, it's available in uh, three sizes, and 9.8 by 8, 9.8 by 9.8, and 9.8 by 13.1. And this is a D. IY, which is a do-it-yourself. It's a screen material that has uh, these borders, black borders on the ends with the grommets. Mm -hmm. it, it's this leatherette also with a velvet finish. Mm -hmm. So this is for the DIYer who has their own frame system mm -hmm. and they want to put something together uh, custom. Yeah, so I've seen it done with um, a truss, like a, you can go to um, Amazon and uh, or like a good trust company and get a trust frame, kind of a trust frame with a nice base that's nice and secure. So when you hit balls at it, it doesn't with these big plates. You can right. go buy a trust frame that's that comes with big plates to keep it from tipping over. You um, either string this on with either bungees or or some sort of uh, lacing, so it's nice and taut, and you can strike balls at it and everything else. And this material starts at about. 295. It's funny. We were just talking about measuring your 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 screen in feet. <laughs> this is actually <laughs> listed in actually, feet. Yes, yeah. And like, <laughs> yeah. And as you notice, it's not a 16 by 9 screen. It's a lot taller than that. Why? Because you're talking about something that has to go floor to ceiling to give you more than an immersive um, golfing experience. So great material. I mean, this is just another example of things that you can do with a projector. I challenge you to take a driver and strike a golf ball at a hundred inch television set. I don't <laughs> think you're survive. ever gonna, and will it survive? <laughs> number one, how much is that screen gonna cost you? And number two, will it survive? Actually, at these sizes, we're talking about a direct LED wall, the panels. Hmm. I challenge yeah. you to strike a ball at one of those. You know, <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. So this is no. a great example of things you can do with a projector and a screen that you just will not be able to do at any rational price re, any rational price point utilizing a flat panel or direct emitting display so cool 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 now there's one more thing that you guys did um, this year and that is to enhance the um, functionality and um, of your projectors can you talk a little bit about the RC1 Yes, Phil, thank you for asking that. Yeah, RC1 is a brand new control system that we introduced on all our electric screens. They're not shipping with them as well. <clears throat> and this is basically a new engineered circuit board that allows a user uh, an improved experience. Now you're able to adjust or program the screen's drop, or if it's a floor rising, uh, the, the rise, via the remote control instead of manually doing it with a Alex uh, Allen wrench or uh, hex key. Mm -hmm. uh, so you avoid damaging that uh, particular um, 
limits which uh, which could void your warranty. And this is also just another feature that customers have been uh, asking us to, uh, to implement and to make it easier for them instead of reaching up to a ladder uh, and having to buy or rent a some sort of device to climb up and, and reach for that particular mm -hmm. adjustment. And so mm -hmm. what this also allows you to do is change the RF code mm -hmm. on the unit. So if you have a bowling alley that has 10 or five or whatever electric screens and you want to control them all with one remote control, you can program the RF code so that you can control all of them at once instead of having to go to every station and uh, manually doing it. Cool, so I can see lots and lots of additional um, benefits to this, plus the ability to drop multiple screens at a museum or like you said, a bowling alley or even in a, uh, a lot of times boardrooms will have multiple screens on three three of their walls and being able to motor them all up with one um, command is another great thing. Correct, so, or if you actually don't want to control all of them and you need to just control one at a time, you can also, of course, uh, change the RF code on it and just mm -hmm. do them individually in case you're, you're at a school and somebody hits the, the down button and it controls all of them. You can mm -hmm. also just give its own unique code mm -hmm. and uh, control them individually as well. Okay, excellent, excellent. Nice new addition. Um, what is this little guy, how much is this little kit gonna um, retail for? Well, actually it's, it's a standard kit that's shipping with all of our electric streams oh. now. So it's okay. not a separate piece, it's more of a Upgrade. Upgraded feature, yes, to our electric screens. Okay, so if you buy a, a screen this year, um, the remote system is better. <laughs> I need the replacement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I may have to come buggy, but um, yeah. So so great pieces, um, Jaime, and and as you can see, Elite Screens has a lot of cool things. So sometimes when we talk about projectors, most people just think about basic education and basic business and home entertainment. But these other things we talked about, whether it's golf simulation, the uprising five second piece, or um, gigantic outdoor theaters, Elite Screens has the right screen for you to build that type of projection solution. So Jaime, thank you for coming again and talking about some of your great new offerings for um, this year um, from Elite Screens. You're welcome, Phil, and thank you as well. And stand by and stay tuned for our review of the their new Yardmaster um, outdoor motorized one because I am incredibly excited about it. So take care, everyone, and we will talk to you soon. Thank you.